guide de tourisme. C'est un petit cas et tu vas là-bas. Et sinon, tu peux rentrer avec les motos dans le camping. Et là où il y a les numéros, si ce n'est pas marqué réservé, c'est que tu peux t'installer. Et après, tu vas à l'office. When they do this uh, spectacle. The spectacle. Mm -hmm. The bénévole. Medieval. Medieval, Medieval yeah. yeah. Bénévole. Zéro finance. Artist private. Voilà. Et voilà. Et euh... Ah, yeah. Là où ça se passe. Facebook Facebook. Oh, it's on Facebook, yeah. Jimbo's out for his morning bike ride to cycle along the banks of one side of the Vizier. Now I'm on the other side. The scenery is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to set off down that road and see where that takes me to. Right, I just moved from across the road, 50 yards away, to the caravan site which is alongside the river. There was no spaces available yesterday, but today Jimbo's got in and uh, feast your eyes on this location. How is it? What do you think? I'm going to stay at least one night, probably two now. And it's reasonably cheap. Got my solar panel going. It's blasting out the electric. Got my fridge going. This is my brand new fridge with all the gear in. Fantastic fridge that, costs a lot of money but it's good. Right, catch you later. Unsure, Jimbo is on a canoe on the Vizier River. I'm doing an eight kilometre paddle downstream. He said I can take three hours, so I'm going to take three hours, get picked up by the bus and get brought back to where I started from. Nineteen euros. Beautiful. Just going with the floor. As the house Martin said. Ah, this is it. This is the way to do things. Not easy doing a two-handed two paddle, one-handed. So I'm not going to try. 
Just go downstream with the flow. Can you see all the buzzards or red kites? I don't know what they are. There's about a dozen of them. Wow, two, four. Right, today I've cycled to a prehistoric monument, La Roque Saint Christophe. It's been inhabited for 55,000 years. And it's right above the river where I kayaked on yesterday. And there's some kayakers now. The holes in the stone are where they used to put the, uh, the wooden post roof supports and such things. And it was inhabited up to the Renaissance. This area is where they used to slaughter the animals. Chop them up on there and the blood used to drain down into the bottom here. Wow. This is where they used to dry the meat, apparently. Oh, they smoke the fish, uh, they smoke the meat here as well. Uh, I see. Can't go down there. No friggin' English. What's over here is a reconstruction of the village. I'll tell you what, it's baking hot down there. But it's really cool up here. Pleasant. Nice view, isn't it? If he was living here, there's a donkey down there. You see him? He's just been dusting himself off. with 
Hey, what come out? So these are the medieval machines that they used to hoist stuff up with. The bellows over there, that's, that's the blacksmiths in there. And there's where the beer used to come up and the wine. This would have been the machine that I'd have been operating. It's like a seating area. Or maybe a massive fireplace. I don't really know. Right, I'm going to visit the second half now. The Great Staircase. Definitely a room with a view. Bonjour mes amis. Just been to visit a prehistoric site. Cycling back to the uh, campsite now. Gonna have some, uh, something to eat and a, a bottle of beer. Scenery, absolutely magic. Absolutely magic swimming pool down there. Lovely breeze, fed up today again. Right, I better go for a while, for now. 